So the first step you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take off every key. But you're definitely gonna wanna take a picture before this so you know where to put the keys. So now I'm gonna do that. Okay, so now you're gonna wanna take all of your keys, you're gonna wanna put all of them into the water, and a big thing is you're gonna wanna make sure every single key is completely underwater. So the space bar is not underwater. You're gonna wanna push all the keys down, make sure they're underwater, just like that. So next you're gonna wanna take off all the screws which are located in these holes here. It should be pretty easy to find, so we're gonna jump into that. Okay, so now we have gotten the actual part that holds all the switches. As you can see, a little ducky right down there. And the switches, and then you got like the back shell part. Okay, next you are going to take your Q-tips and you're just gonna go in between all the keys here like this. And you're just gonna wanna get all of the little dust out from all there. So you're just gonna go through and you're gonna kinda go like this. Gonna wipe all this, these crumbs and the dust off of here. You're gonna wanna do this very thoroughly because this is the whole reason you took apart your keyboard to clean it. Okay, so next you're going to have your case. Uh, and you're gonna take, I'm using a car so if you can use a rag, anything. And you're just gonna kind of wipe down the whole inside of this. Because this is maybe one of your dirtier parts. So you're just gonna go on this, wipe, wipe all this out. Just like so. And then don't forget to get around this part. Next, you're gonna take your Q-tip, and you're gonna get it wet, and you're just gonna do the same thing along here. This is from one of the harder to reach spots, like the corners and back in here. That's just what we're doing right now. Right down here is pretty dirty, so you're gonna get that. Okay, so next you have your shell, and you're gonna take where your switches are located and you're going to put this back in. Make sure this little spot here locks up a little hole there. Then you got that popped in. Then you're going to take all of your screws and you're gonna put all your screws back in. So the next step is you're going to take all of your keys now out of the water, set them onto your towel and we're gonna let them dry before putting them back on your case. But all you have to do is put them back on and you're done. So now we're gonna let these dry out and we'll put them back on. <laughs> 